So guys, as you see, we are on a boat once again. This time I'm actually trying to record. I don't know if it works because of the wind, I don't know if the motor, but still we'll drive to the island that's called North Seymour Island, which is north of the Baltar Island, so basically north of the airport island. It will take us 45 minutes to get there after the 40 minutes that we have in the bus to get to the port. There we will be able to see other animals, no penguins today, but a few special, very famous Galapagos birds. Really looking forward to them. See you on North Seymour Island. Time to go on a little hike here on North Seymour Island and off to see some beautiful birds like the blue footed bobby and the frigate bird with the red chest. So what we got here is mostly blue footed boobies nesting on the ground. That's the young frigate. Okay. Blue footed boobies nesting. Frigate birds with their red chests are actually the males. They only blow up the red chests when they are single to attract females, of course. So the ones that already have a female, they don't blow up the chest anymore. And also to attract the females when they see them on the air, they hit their beak against the chest to make a sound. It's actually the best flying bird in the world because their wingspan is seven feet. 2.3 meters, which is actually the biggest wingspan compared to the body size. They're also the lightest bird compared to the body size. Also, about the blue-footed boobies, the babies can take up to one year to be independent. And also, sometimes when they have like two babies, they fight between each other and the stronger one wins. It's really rare that both survive. Most of the time they do have two babies, just for redundancy. It depends how much food they get. Okay. If they get a lot of food for the two, the two of them survive. If they don't get enough for the two, they compete. the vegetation behind me everything is very dry but it's not like that the whole year it's actually in December the wet season starts now it's the cold season then the wet season starts and then they bloom basically and also you get some grass it becomes a little way more greener the vegetation changes with the seasons over here so this is an old iguana that actually died of old age it came to this place like twice a week and at some point it got too old and died. As you probably already noticed, it's very easy to get close to the birds and iguanas here on this island. That's because they never developed any fear of predators. Because there are no natural predators here on the island except for some hawks, I think. And humans only arrived here like 300 years ago. So it's really, really easy to get close to them and record them and take photos, of course. There's the ocean behind me and there are sea lions here. I think it's sea lions, it might be seals. Honestly, I don't 
know the difference. But anyways, it's really beautiful here for people who love nature. Very untouched nature. This is a great place to come. Most of the island is untouched and the animals, but everything is protected. The national park, really beautiful, awesome. Come here. Even though it's very windy and a lot of waves, the water is still, the color is just beautiful. Yeah. And the sand is also beautiful. So this is the lagoon. Well, it's a very small lagoon and as you can see, no flamingos. Well, we've been very lucky these last two days. We've seen basically everything that we wanted to see. So. I guess Evelyn is a little bit sad because she lost flamingos, but I'm fine with that. I've seen mating turtles and penguins, what else do I want to see, right? Mm -hmm.